Alright, was in with a gang. We right back, back again. Checking out the homie Flacco. He got a new vid. Um, basically, it's about a dispute between um, DL and Monique. Now, this ain't the first time Monique done cut up on somebody, so I gotta see what she uh what she got going on this time. Big Monique, you know. Poetic Flacco. Best mm. YouTuber. Oh no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. Gotta uh, read the article first. I checked out to see um, what they beefing about, so I got it set up right here. Monique fires off at DL Hughley over headline and disagreement. That's a bitch name. <laughs> I didn't see that part. I. <laughs> Oh uh, man, a contract dispute caused Mo to embarrass the comedian in front of a live audience. Last night, May 28, comedians D.L. Hughley and Monique participated in a comedian in a comedy. I was trying to say comedian explosion in a comedy explosion at the Fox Theater in Detroit, Michigan. The night of comedy was hosted by Josh Adams and introduced comedian Ada Rodriguez. During the show, fans were blown away after Monique spat some hateful words into the microphone about DL. The 54-year-old felt a certain type of way over a contract dispute. It was said that she was supposed to headline the event, but that did not go as planned. <laughs> Look at that boy picture they got on there. <laughs> uh... Fed up with the disagreement, the actress decided to let the crowd know her true feelings. A 10 minute long video captured her saying, that's what the contract said. Monique is to be the last mother effing person on the goddamn stage. <laughs> she is the headliner. That is what I signed the contract for. I feel a vibe though. Basically on a kick like um now you uh you done told your people like this your night and all that and now somebody going on after you. I know how that vibe goes, she just fell played. So. I haven't tapped in. Your boy Porter Flacco, anywhere you go, anybody you know, somebody gotta know me. I know you know you about to cut up, that's automatic. That's why I had to come to this. Let's see what he was talking about. And we're back again with another one, folks. Now, check it out, man. All right, man, folks. So, Monique and DL Hoogley is beefing. Monique is calling him, a, you know, <laughs> well, we can't say that word on YouTube, right? But, you know, <laughs> C O N, right? In the bit. And she also said he's shucking and jiving. Now, I can't even speak on. People always go for that one. <laughs> That's down bad. Right, the specifics as to why Monique and Dia Hoogly is beefing. All I will say is this, man. In terms of giving somebody the benefit of, uh, of the doubt. Uh, well, see, no this thing's kind of hard, right? Because Monique is known for gaslighting, right? She's known for, you know, for... You know, like for pulling that race card every chance she gets. Like for example, right? Like if a major studio ain't really to give, ain't willing to give Monique a hundred man house, right? Oh, it's because I'm black. No, it's because you ain't quite relevant today. Yeah. All right. But nonetheless, though, in terms of this, you know, particular discussion, in terms of whether or not D.L. Hoogley was out here shucking and jiving, yeah, I'm gonna give point. Monique the benefit of the doubt and say absolutely. Or I will say this, right? I'm more prone to believe that D.L. Hoogley <laughs> you can give her the benefit of the doubt and say absolutely. That means you can uh, give him the benefit of the doubt. Hoogley was shucking and jiving, <laughs> then Monique making it up. Right? Because D.L. Hoogley has a history of shucking and jiving. 
Uh, Dio Hoogley man. has a history of going on Vlad TV and tearing down any black man he has a chance to. He tore down Kanye. He called Kanye a stalker, a weirdo, all type of ish, right? When Kanye was just acting normal. Bruh, Dio Hoogley called Kanye a stalker because Kanye sent flowers to his wife, right? Dio Hoogley called Kanye a stalker because Kanye bought a house across the street from his kids so his kids can't have a disruption in their routines. D.L. Hoogley uh, said R. Kelly was guilty, said Bill Cosby is a R word, right? We really can't say it on YouTube as either, right? He called uh, Bill Cosby an apist yeah. when Bill Cosby was already, well, he was acquitted, right? You know, the uh, the uh, appeal acquitted him. So how can you call this man an apist when he was acquitted? Right, so Dia Hoogley has a history of tearing down black folks, tearing down black men. I ain't gonna lie, that was bad examples, but um, if they have more, then you know it is what it is. I ain't trying to um, deny the the claim, but I don't know that for sure. And the examples wasn't good, but it was a funny video. Um, at least what she was saying was funny. Like you know, she was saying some wild stuff in the run, like the fact that she was even running was cool. Like you know. Especially in the presence of white folks. So that's D.L. Hoogley's whole M.O., man. So it might even shock that D.L. Hoogley might have been behind the scenes criticizing Monique for, I guess, standing up for her rights, standing up for her people. Absolutely. But I'm not shocked at all. D.L. Hoogley has a history of doing so. Question is, though, who's worse? A person who's pulling the race card every chance they get? Or, you know, a dude like D.L. Hoogley who is prone to owning and sh- Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, uh, I just think they own some brother and sister uh, type of beef every time they get into it because they still um, seem like they rock. I heard uh, her speak on this kind of thing before, and, you know, obviously they're still getting bread together and stuff. So, But, yeah, it's some funny stuff. We'll need call out whatever she see. That's what you got to give her. So if it's true or not, then, like, that's probably how she saw it at least, like, you know, so. Anyway, y'all can drop y'all comments. Let me know how y'all feeling. Uh, let me know what other uh, channels and videos y'all want to rock with and all that. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to that boy, Poetic Flacco. Yeah, dog. Um, yeah, keep rocking with us. See y'all boys on the next one.